All right. Let's proceed. I'm over here. In residence. My canteen is full. My ink ribbons. All over here. Stored in the chest. I have the magnum. I have plenty of healing available to me. I have the almond key that was of no further use to me whatsoever. And, uh... I have a bit of ammo for my pistol. A tiny, tiny bit for my shotgun. That's about it. This is the residence. It is time to open everything up. Get as much done as I possibly can. I cannot go over here. This door says 001, doesn't it? Yes, it does. This corridor has been cleared. The first place I can deal with is the spider room. I don't believe it requires anything from me whatsoever. I as well entirely ignore whatever threat the spiders try to pose. Let's run around them. There's not much for me to do here. And when I need to enter the info, I absolutely will. But I'll come later. Alright, first of all, yeah. Red lamp. Light it. <clears throat> yeah, strange silhouette hovers in reddish light. Could it have some kind of meaning? Pick up the green herb, yes please. Hey spider. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. I don't care, little spidey dude. Will you take the red book? Yes, I will. A strange silhouette hovers in grid light. Could it have some kind of meaning? Yes, yes, it absolutely could. I can't pick this up, which is depressing. It almost tempts me. Almost tempts me. Just reload, but whatever. Yet another strange silhouette. Some billiard balls. Two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't seem to be any, anything significant about the order, but yes, the colors, the colors and the numbers. Yes, I understand. I'm not writing this down. I have it in my notes. And if need be, I can always just check the footage. Let's head on over here. Deposit what I have found. There goes the green herb. What about the red book? Is there anything to see here? Not really. It's a book with a red cover. It's empty. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Yes, there is. I'll deposit it right here. There's no need for me to lug it around. I'm not sure I even need the spell ammo. I can always fall back to this little spot. There are no zombies roaming the corridors. I don't have to worry about them. This should be enough. I can even holster my pistol. I run faster that way. Let's get that bit of healing. Deposit it over here, then head further on. If I get hurt, I'm just going to be horribly upset with myself and may reload. Since this is the very start of the level. 
Yeah. Investigate this, an advertisement for an arm wrestling contest. The winner will be named Chief for a Day of the Raccoon City Police Department. No, it says Raccoon Police Department. Whatever. Will you take the first aid box? Yes, I will. Let's examine it. What's inside the case? Raccoon herb. A mix of green and blue herb was inside. Mixed herbs. That's lovely. Is there anything left over here? Anything to pick up whatsoever? No. It's done. Let's leave this place then. There's absolutely no need to shoot the spiders. No need at all. I wonder if you can hear the raindrops. I could just close the window, but I... I find it soothing. Doesn't bother me. The next step, obviously, is to get on top of the boxes, traverse, find the next key, yada yada yada. You know that drill. I've been here before, I've done this one. Uh, I'm somewhat displeased with myself that I was too lazy to write the combination down, but then again, by the time I need it, I will look it up. Somehow, presumably, I'll have to review the footage, which will force me to do a, an annoying cut, etc. Yeah. Right. Over here we go. Will I encounter any zombies in this corridor? I may. Desktop profile. Profile 5. My goodness, the rain. Any zombies? Anyone? No? Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. This corridor has not yet been fully explored. There are still items for me to pick up. Any zombies whatsoever? No, none! This door is closed, obviously. It's locked, the door plate leads. Gallery. Uh, no. Any cutscenes, please? You go through here. This, <laughs> door number two is open. I could pick this up, but... Let's click this first. Do I get a cutscene? I don't! Any zombies inside? Let's head back out first. This is extraordinary. Instead of all the usual cutscenes, I essentially get nothing. There's a map of the residence. Take it, yes. You got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. This has been cleared out, and I am not about to gaze inside the wall anyway this is the current situation not much of note i can go here i can visit the bathroom that's about it those are the only options available to me i'll have to visit the bathroom to get a key but first and foremost let's actually plunder this room Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically moved its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. No one on Earth will you find anything like it. We also found that Plant 42 
has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, the scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since the basement has been like a pool, there's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant folly rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence when it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen prey, have fallen victim to this plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. So when it opens up, you shoot the vital internals, that's it. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. The 21st of May, 1998, Henry Sarton. That's it. Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash its head! Well... At least it has been decapitated. That's a relief, I guess. Wait, hold on. How do I deal with this, then? Can I push this further aside? Yeah, I can push this deeper. Cause... Then I push this... And bam! I reveal the way over here. That's great and everything. I will head to the bathroom soon enough, but first of all... I need to recuperate. I need my item box. Fine, the path is safe. I haven't even checked my health, but I already feel like I've taken some damage. Uh, yes, I'm at yellow. It wasn't that bad though. I've spent a decent bit of ammo, decent bit of pistol ammo, but I did not have to spend kerosene since I've decapitated the zombie. Granted, I had to take some damage to do so, and granted, there's a refill of kerosene right here, so it seems kind of unnecessary to do that. But at the same time, I'm going to be absolutely fine. Yeah, I can put the ammo back. I should have healed first, that would have been a more efficient use of my time. I heal, I'm absolutely fine. Have the pistol reloaded, have some kerosene, and my shotgun at the ready. I don't know if I should go for the shotgun headshots on the zombies. I'm conserving ammo like mad, and yet at the same time, there isn't that much for me to anticipate and conserve my ammo for. <laughs> Granted, there aren't that many enemies over here anyway. I might potentially conserve the ammo for the plant. I still don't have a clue as to how exactly that fight shall play out. A multitude of things could conceivably happen. After all, previously we got Barry to save us after 
that initial unfortunate encounter. Alright. I think I ought to equip the shotgun and try to get a headshot. Odds are I've already cleared out the bathroom zombie by going further into the room. But in case that has not happened, I can just aim up. What is leaking from the tank? Yeah, the only... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the only item. The only item isn't in the tub. I can take the residence key from over here. Presumably, I will get an old key from the tub. 001. That's the key to room 001, as you might expect. Is there a zombie in the tub? I don't think there is. No. No, I never killed the zombie that was in here. I think. So that's it! This place is done for now. I'm not going into the aqua ring quite yet. There's little use for that. Since first I have to acquire the appropriate key. You know the sequences of the sequencing of those things. I don't quite remember it myself. I just remember the absolute feeling of relief I had when I discovered that I had the right sort of key when I did, in fact, reach the end of the aqua ring. I believe it's the control room key or something like that. Of course, from what I remember, the key to the gallery, so this path right here, is acquired down in the aqua ring, down below. <laughs> I can't even show you the aqua ring because I haven't acquired this map yet. So it would stand to reason that I will acquire the control room key, I believe, somewhere around here. It's pretty much the only spot I can access right now. <sighs> right. Let's open the door. Get on the floor. <laughs> if it is for the key discarded, yes. I have the ammo. Fine, let's actually equip the pistol, might as well. I'll just be dealing with silly zombies over there. Might as well set them on fire. Reload on kerosene. Step number one, explore this area. I know, dangling corpse. Sorry, dude. Well, you take the self-defense gun, yes, I will. Suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. They put him out of his misery. I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? Never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. From Linda, I don't want to die. Is this place clear? Yes, it is. That's it. Now, I need to hurry the hell up. O the only place left to visit is the bathroom. And I need to be switched. I should have switched to the shotgun. Alright, switch to the shotgun. Burn the zombie. Actually... Ooh, this is tempting. It's tempting not to burn the zombie. But then I might just have to pay the price, right? Of dirty water, pull the plug, yes. The zombie may not rise, we'll see. Come on, give me an item. Come on. There's something inside the bathtub. There we go, that's the control room key. Now run like hell. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. First of all, I have to check whether I have. I have to check whether I've cleared the room! Uh. Have I? Yes, I have. Okay. Get out. Well, that was simple. 
Oh, look at this! The corridor and the safe room were already cleared out, but I cleared out these two rooms. The spider room, so that's three, four with the corridor, five with this room, six with the bathroom. And now I'm on my way below to the aqua ring to deal with the situation over there. Isn't this grand? I think I ought to stow the self-defense gun away. Now, the zombies from over there, from the bathroom, etc., from room 001 might potentially come back to life, get out into the corridor and make my life living hell, but... I'm not terribly worried. There's nothing unusual. It's the control room key. I know that even though it doesn't really have a plaque saying as much. They could potentially come back to life, but... They could not. It is possible for them not to. If they walk out into the corridor, then fine, so be it. I've never had that happen in my previous playthrough. But once again, on higher difficulty levels, you never know. These sorts of things may very well happen. So far, however, all seems fine. I've only had to spend ammo on that single blasted zombie. No kerosene scene got spent whatsoever. I haven't unleashed the bees either. I'm really doing fine. If any zombies spawn here, I'll be ready for them. Okay, nothing. There's a ladder. Climb down. You know, I might actually switch to the pistol ahead of time. Fine. Now let's climb down. This space might, after all, be populated by a non-zero amount of zombies. Even though it was perfectly fine on lower difficulty levels, and even though there's this absolutely lovely, soothing music, you never know. What if there are threats out there waiting for me? Silently! Doesn't appear to be the case, but it could be. It's locked from the other side. Yes, I know, and there are crates over here. With this spot being filled with water. The puzzle, of course, is to push the crates into the place. Creating a nifty little bridge. After which point will come the annoying part. That thankfully I'll only have to get through once. I don't know what I exactly want to get done, or rather how much I want to get done in a single... bit. In a single recording. Do I want to clear out the entire residence? <laughs> I hypothetically could, I guess. Uh, might want to push it a tad further to the side. There we go. Right up against the wall. <sighs> Onwards, my little crate. I could clear out the entire resonance in one go. It's not that big of a deal. Although maybe I ought to take a break midway. If I were to do so, which point would be the most convenient? I... We'll clear out... Oh, I didn't expect this. Hello, what have we here? I'll pick up the herb, I'll lose the key. All in all, this is fine. I don't have the map of the Aqua Ring quite yet. So I can't uh, quite demonstrate what I'm about to accomplish, but still. You might recall what needs to be done here. And of course, you might recall that if I fail here, then uh, that's it, I'm pretty much done. Chris, Chris, Chris? Richard! What? Oh no, what the, oh, oh. Chris! What happened here? Chris, stop, no! Richard. Chris, run, 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 run. Run! Run, you fool! 
Oh, fuck. How wounded are you? You know what? Let's not investigate. Just run. Just keep on running. Run like you've never ran in your entire life, Chris. Oh, no. He gets bitten. He's done. He's done for. Use the control room key. There's no further use for the key, the key discard. Yes. I didn't expect Richard to die, though. How did this happen? Who could have done it to him? Ah, uh, I'm in yellow. Fine, use the herb. I'm fine. But, but, what, what about Rebecca? The warning lamp indicates that there's an emergency. What about Rebecca? Did she be? Has Rebecca betrayed me? Is that what's going on here? I, I, I really don't want to believe that much. I understand she might be the traitor, but my goodness, I sincerely hope she's not. Hello. Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve number one. Okay, I can follow simple instructions. Valve number one. It's held shut. The door is held tightly shut by the pressure of the water. Hmm. Let's see. I believe that means that I would have to... Drain the water to be able to do much of anything. There's something to pick up here, but I, I can't see anything. What is this mysterious item? Ah, oh, it's the map, of course. There's a map of the aqua ring, take it, yes. Here is the aqua ring in its entirety. Here's where I am. This has not been cleared yet. This room has not been cleared either. You got the map of the aqua ring. Yeah, it hasn't been cleared out because of the map. Now that I've picked up the map, they have both been cleared out. Remember, in case of a drop in oil pressure, Open valve one. Valve one. I repeat, valve one. Hello, shark. The controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. That's lovely. What's this? An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water is being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it? Not yet. A pressure shelter. Okay. Let's do this. Another message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water is being drained. Did I switch? Press it, yes. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. The pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety, yes. The safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. Okay, pressure shutter. There's a control. The pressure shutter point, yes. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure and release safety. Okay, valve one. Reaching 50% of the pressure The switches. Threshold. Press switch switch one. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. The pressure shelter lock release safety, yes. The safety mechanism has been released. The control level, pull it, yes. Okay, the safety has been released. Drain the water, yes. The water has been completely drained. Done. <sighs> that was surprisingly stressful, even though I... I was familiar with every single step of the operation. And we go, are there any zombies floating about? This area has not been cleared out. Come on, no zombies, no zombies. There were no zombies here last time. What is this? Will you take the magnum rounds? Oh my goodness, that is a real treat! From what I understand, I think you only find 12 throughout the entire game. 
That's half of them. And you only get six to begin with in the gun itself. That's it. Magnum rounds. They're absolutely, positively precious. I have two free slots, so I'm moderately fine. This is the way that leads further back. Over here. Out. Now that we have drained the water, that is the way to leave. However, we're going further in because we want additional stuff. An experiment monitor looks like it was being used to gather data on the sharks. Oh, data. Up for data, though. Hello, what have we here? And it's down and out. I can no longer aim at it. Well, manually. I'm sorry. Um, automatically, anyway. It's dead. I'm glad I put it out of consignment. I wouldn't exactly feel comfortable walking around with that thing still um, up. Well, not up. Well, down, but not out, so to speak. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is bloody terrifying. The water flow control system, it doesn't have power. Can I push it? Not yet. The generator unit for the water flow system, pull the lever down? No, not quite. Let's pick this up. Oh wait, I can. Well, you leave me the hell alone. Push it. Pull it. Yeah, that will do it. Everything's fried, including the shark. The generator unit for the water flow system. It's toasted. It's done. But thankfully, so is the shark. Two free slots. Come on, let's... Um... Oh, you have to be able to get through. Come on, Chris. There we go. Pick up the key. Out of boy. And that key, ladies and gentlemen, is of course the gallery key. The word gallery is imprinted on it. It is the gallery key. As you might have surmised, as you might have expected, as you might have known, as I certainly did. Will you take the assault shotgun? Yes, I will! I'm sorry, Richard. I'm dreadfully sorry. <sighs> Man. I don't think Rebecca is behind this. After all, she had ample opportunities to... Well, ample opportunity, singular. Possibly. To take Richard out of consignment when he was all vulnerable. She could have shot him and no one would have been the wiser. Ah, eh, well, shooting him would have been kind of transparent, wouldn't it? I don't know. She could have killed him, sliced his throat, whatever. In all the chaos, no one would have really figured that anything out. No one would have known. So, there are two possibilities, essentially. Either she got subverted partly through the entire ordeal. Materials have been piled on top of each other by the overflowing water. Either it happened partway through it and she was forced into this unenviable position of having to... Space looks like a garbage dump. In having to aid our good old sunglasses wearing pal in wiping out the Raccoon City Police Department team and the STARS members. Or, the man himself got his hands dirty. 
and executed Richard himself. Which begs the question, what happened to Rebecca? Well, is she? What was her fate? After all, last we've seen her, she was by Richard's side, by his bedside, tending to him. There's only one thing left to do in the Aqua Ring. Well, I could visit that place later on. There's not much for me to see though right now. Yeah, let's leave. That's the question remains. Is Rebecca still on my side? Or is she at this stage the traitor? I do not know. I did get a separate cutscene though, for once. I've unlocked the gallery. Which lets me do a number of things. I don't know, do I clear out the entire place in one go? I certainly could. I could save once I get to the next save spot. Which will be soon enough. I'm tempted. Let's see now. I... I could and should deposit some of the items at the item box. Especially... One, especially once. Um, while things are still relatively calm and fine on... Um, <laughs> well, on this front. Uh, they are fine in general, for now. Might as well visit the item box. Will I meet Rebecca anywhere nearby? I've already seen Richard. I suspect I'll see her sometime soon. And since I got a handful of items, it would stand to reason that they would expect me to head over here. Is she over here in the safe room? No, she's not. Well, are you, Rebecca? What's your angle? Are you actually my friend? Or are you a foe? Should I keep the shotgun? I think I should. I would gladly unload it and load the assault shotgun instead since it can carry more ammo. But for now, I think I'll carry the assault shotgun with me. Empty it at the first given opportunity and then switch permanently to the assault shotgun. Now... These were not happy circumstances under which I have gained control of it, but I appreciate it nonetheless. It will serve me well. You will be remembered, Richard. Your sacrifice will not have been in vain. I will get to the bottom of this soon enough. Could have taken the book with me. Uh, it takes a while before you unlock that particular spot. No, I. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is there much po point in lugging around all of this stuff, really? Unless I have the gallery key, I may as well use it. That'll free up a slot. I'll have to dodge the bees. That much is inevitable. <laughs> uh, I could use up my ammo on the bees, although that doesn't sound like the best of ideas, does it? Hmm. There's a number of things I could do. <sighs> I think... I think I'll deal with the bees first and foremost. With the gallery key, no further use discarded. Yes. I am anticipating things, obviously, which may be no fun from your perspective, but mm, I could pick up the ammo. 
I have those three slots free. Oh god. No. Lock mechanism for the doll. Use it, yes. Okay, this eye is the... Oh, no colors on this difficulty. Gotta go by symbols alone. Fair enough. This is the orange one. That's a five. This one is a six. And the one with the slit is a three. Let's get in. Ignore the bees for now. There are no bees inside. I repeat, there are no bees inside. Fall containers. Yes, but this puzzle can be solved with fuel. And once I'm done, I won't need the additional containers. There's something written on the wall. One plus three. Yeah, let's write this down. Let's actually get this done before I get an explanation for how this works. It's four. Four plus six is ten. Then 1 plus 6 is 7. Then 10 plus 7. 17. And 17 plus 3 is 20. Let's do it. Hmm. We don't know much, not much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. Oh. But... But... Ah, damn it! Okay, fine, I can solve it ahead of time, apparently. Three slots. Oh boy. Fine, bees first, I guess. Hydrochloric acid. I don't know much about medicine. Might as well leave that alone. Yeah, right. Don't get up, you... A cop's with a contorted expression of pain on his face. He's holding something. Will you take the insecticide spray? I will. Turn around! Chris, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's fine. Just got stung by a bee. Ah, bees. I don't know what's on the other side, I don't need to know what's on the other side. Or do I? I don't! Once again, this may seem no, like no fun, this may seem like cheating, but still. Guys, I really didn't want to unleash the bees upon this corridor. It sucks. Every single time you go through a hill, you have to dodge bees. That's no fun for anyone. Bad enough that I have to dodge bees every time I go through here. I could pick up that ammo. Oh, all the bees are dead. Thank you. Thank you, dead guy. Will you take the residence key? Yes, I will. Numbers 003. Numbers 003 is imprinted. That's. Whatever. Numbers is apparently imprinted. Come on. Will this guy get up? He never did. But I wouldn't put him past put it past him to actually do so right there now. I need the book. Fine. Lab equipment you've never seen before. Could these have been used for some kind of... Yeah, that's what lab equipment is usually used for. Now, please pick up the ammo. Thank you. Will you take the handgun magazine? Yes, I will. Unlock this door. Use the key for room 003. No need. This card, yes. No zombies on the other side, please. If there are any zombies, well... I have to have the shotgun at the ready. I'm not messing about. Or around. I'm not messing at all. What am I doing? I'm messing. Oh boy, I did not take the book. 
This will require more trips. No typewriter. If you had an ink ribbon, there are no ink ribbons provided, eh? How has this not been cleared out? What is the? There's, there are some notes here, right? I remember there being notes. It's a swarm of moths. There have to be moths here. Oh no, sorry, that's the bookshelf. The shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwich in between them. Take it, yes. Organic chemistry lab experiments. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected with the Thion virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments are interesting. New fact became clear. We learned that the chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, Vjolt, if calculations prove correct. And Vjolt is applied directly to the root of the plant. When Vigil is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The Vigil can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specified ratio. However, extra care must be taken while handling these UMB chemicals. They've been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. Here are the characteristics. There are the colors, etc. Yada yada yada, I know what I have to do. This room has been cleared, I haven't been to the bathroom yet. I will visit it soon enough. However, for the time being, I'm not interested in unleashing more zombies upon the world. Wait, what could the bathroom contain? I've pretty much been through everything, haven't I? Curious. What could it contain? The old key? <laughs> the old key, as if there was a single one. An old key, I guess, at best. Can I... Can I get through the puzzle using just... Two slots? I don't think I can. Now, thankfully, I've cleared all the bees out, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Let's go for the red book. Slot it appropriately. Then deal with the chemicals, deal with the plant. Let's see now. What do I need? What do I want? Very good question. Because hypothetically, I could try to do everything in one go. If there's anything I need to find in the bathroom, that's not, that's also a consideration. I could, for instance, take ink ribbons and just save them. Let's merge the handgun magazine over here. I don't know, do I want to carry the handgun with me? I could just try to empty the shotgun, but if I am to participate in the boss fight, I might as well I get around. I think I will stop short of the boss fight though. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll put the handgun away. Take the red book. Solve the puzzle, pick up whatever's left in the bathroom, and then save. But if I am to do that, then I clearly can take the ink ribbons. Because I will use up the book. Yeah, this stands to reason. Once again, you don't need all the slots available in order to complete that puzzle. As long as you combine the chemicals properly, it's all fine. As I have already expected, the residence is pretty serene. There's not much to worry about here. Yeah, I ultimately got hurt a tiny bit by a single zombie, but so what? I didn't have much difficulty dealing with much of anything here. Mostly because the corridors are not lined with zombies. Uh, sorry, something caught my eye. Ah, yes, of course. The red herb here. Is this still open? It's not. It's blocked from the other side. Fair enough. I have a single herb to pick up here. However, if I fill up yet another slot, 
<laughs> that'll become an issue. So, first things first, put the red book where it belongs. Boy, I've, I've entered this place too many times. The bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books? Uh, not yet. No, thank you. Let's go over here. Deal with this nasty vigil business. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. Um, Chris? Chris, Chris, little buddy. Listen to me. There absolutely is a point, and that point is that you need to make vigil. Do you. Are you honestly that daft? That you do not believe there to be any sort of a conceivable way for you to do that, and you have to have Rebecca do it for you? Well, in which case, well, exactly, well, pray tell, is Rebecca in the plant room or on the other side of this stall? Well, if I am to visit the plant room, that will be quite a trip. Well, both are plant rooms, technically speaking. Fine, I guess I'll visit the bathroom first. Then I can try visit the plant. Now, visiting the bathroom may end up being a horrible mistake. I don't know, let's see. Even if there's a zombie, that I might as well just headshot it, whatever. If I don't headshot, if I get I don't care. I'm beyond caring at this point. Yes, it's full of dirty water. Pull the plug. Pull the plug. Yes. The shelves are lined with various soaps and cosmetics. They're all umbrella plant products. There's nothing in there. That was a complete waste of time. Well then, I have two choices, and quite frankly, I am going to visit the plant room first. Once again, I keep calling it the plant room. It's not exactly necessarily that now, is it? Oh boy. Maybe very, very uninteresting. Or it may be exactly what I am looking for. Consider the fact that Richard was trapped in the vicinity. What if Rebecca is trapped in the plant room? And has been patiently waiting for me to save her for the longest time. And through all of my metagaming... I have ignored the room entirely, figuring I knew exactly what had to be done. Being monumentally wrong about the entire affair. And of course, since I have drained the water, there's no clear path from here to there. I have to go all the way around. Through here. The bottom part of the aqua ring. All the way around, potentially for absolutely no benefit whatsoever. Oh boy. But this is novelty. It's exciting as a possibility. I'll grant you this much, there are alternative possibilities. Maybe, just maybe, what they want me to do is even more horrible. Maybe what they expect me to do is 
to leave the residence entirely. Head back to the mansion and pester Rebecca. Hey, Becky! I have this puzzle I can solve by myself. Would you care to assist me? Also, Richard is dead. Please don't force me to do that. The residence used to be a fine and dandy self-contained place. I did not have to leave it before there was nothing left to do in it. It was all perfectly fine. Okay, so this is the guard room. Is it... Well, are there any people in the... Should I say? Because it sure as hell is not empty. Fuck, oh, it's completely soaked. There's nothing special inside. Okay, I'm leaving. Well, what do you know? No Rebecca. Oh, goodness. Hold on. I see two possibilities. Either the puzzle can be solved, and it ought to be... No, this is not the way out. Bestie, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is not the way out. The water has been drained, remember? Either I cannot solve the puzzle and have to fight the plant, or I need to visit Rebecca. However, considering the fact that it was hinted pretty heavily that I can't deal with medicine, and there I have... In the mansion, my lovely medic, this is the last time I've seen her, she was there. I think I am pretty much expected to leave, get to her, get her all the way back here. And then and only then complete the mission. Everything seems to be back to normal now. That's great. Oh yeah, I'm just passing time. Perhaps I ought to just... Um, Leave myself to my own thoughts, leave you to your thoughts, and uh, make a hasty cut in those sorts of segments. Well, pretty much nothing happens, because I'm just going through corridors I have visited previously, trying to uncover what is clearly not there, in a desperate attempt not to have to backtrack more than is necessary. If it turns out that I reach the mansion, and Rebecca's no longer there because you have to go visit the plant room, I might just throw a fit. <laughs> I might be moderately displeased with the entire situation. But I'm pretty sure that Rebecca is key to all of this. Yeah, but where is she? Well, I'm not going to find out. I've already outlined two possibilities. She's either back at the mansion, or back at the plant room. But going to the plant room, as quick and convenient as it is, would force me into an undesirable boss fight. And going back to the mansion would force me to crawl past the snakes. So either way, whichever thing I choose, I'll probably... Just... Save before that happens. There's one last thing I might do before I resort to that. Well, two things. First and foremost, let's see if he can interact with the chemicals. If that tells him anything. I don't think he can, but just on the flip... <laughs> yeah, the flip chance. There's a flip side, just on the, the off chance. I might as well try. I did, it didn't work. All right. Let's head on here. The last thing I could possibly do is set the books in the right order. Maybe that triggers a cutscene. Possibly, conceivably. Rather the books. Yes, yes, please. All right. All the way over here. Rather the books, yes. Put this over there. Rather the books. Yes. That's nice. But alas, even though, even though the path inside it has been unlocked, 
I'm not particularly interested in going in right the hell now. Alright. Having cleared out pretty much everything of available items without having sold the mystery of the plan, because apparently either I can't do it, I have to rely on Rebecca to do it. I'm going to save here. That's it. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon? Yes. Please do. Come on. I'm glad I cleared out pretty much everything. Well then, see? This, this right here, is the reason I was not looking forward to this entire experiment. I got all the way back here and guess what? No Rebecca. So if it wasn't for the save, I would have to trek all the way back to the residence. And I would have to fight the plant anyway. Ugh. Great. Apparently you don't even get to solve the puzzle. You have to fight the plant. And just use brute force. Sheesh.